The budget session of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly for the financial year 2022-2023 concluded today, the 17th of March 2022. Six bills were passed on the last day and the House voted on the demands for grants for payment during the year ending 31st March 2023. Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Public Works, Preston Tansong, in his reply to the question placed by Shela MLA Balajit Kupa Sindram, informed that documentation process for the construction of the bridge over River Umyam in Shela is still ongoing. The bridge will be sanctioned by the World Bank. Tourism Minister Snyabhalangdhar informed the House in his reply to a question placed by Umrai MLA George P. Lingda that the beautification project of Umyam Viewpoint, sanctioned by the Ministry of Tribal Affairs at Rs 2 crores, is not sufficient to meet the proposal amount of Rs 7 crores. Therefore, the department is examining new source of funding for the project. In reply to a question placed by Leader of Opposition Dr. Mukul Sangma, Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Power, Preston Tinsong, informed that the Independent Inquiry Committee constituted to look into various aspects of functioning of MECL, including the Smart Metering Project, are preparing to submit their report before the 31st of March. The next question was in regards to recognition of Khasi and Garo languages placed by West Shillong MLA Mohendra Rapsang. Minister in Charge District Council Affairs, Lakhman Rumboy, informed that although Khasi and Garo languages are already recognized under the sixth schedule, including Inclusion of the languages in the eighth schedule was altogether a different matter. Border Areas Development Minister Lakhman Rumboy, in his reply to a question placed by Nongpo MLA Meryl Bonsim, informed that Rs 5 crores had been earmarked under Interstate Border Areas Development Program for the year 2020-2021 and Rs 5.5 crores for the year 2021-22. The next question was in relation to the NEC road from AMPT Road Tikrikila to Kodom Sali, which Tikrikila MLA Jimmy D. Sangma informed is in a decapitated condition. The last question raised by East Shillong MLA Dr. Emperin Lingda, taken up and disposed of during question R, was on the issuance of economically weaker sections EWS certificates in the state. Chief Minister Konrad Sangma informed that nine such certificates have been issued by the district magistrates in the state. He informed that as per rules, the certificates are meant for individuals who are not covered under other reservation policies. A zero-hour notice was raised by Rangsakona MLA Zenit Sangma regarding one PWD executive engineer allegedly participating in active politics and violating service rules. Deputy Chief Minister in Charge PWD Preston Tinsong in his reply informed that the department decided to issue explanatory notice and necessary action will be taken according to provisions of the service rules. Umrai MLA George B. Lingdot then called the attention of Minister in Charge Labour Sanbor Shulai to a news item published in Business Standard under the caption Four Labour Codes that everyone is talking about. The MLA urged the Minister to adopt the Four Labour Code on Wages, Code on Social Security, Code on Industrial Relations and Occupational Safety, Health and Working Conditions Code. Labour Minister Sanbo Shulai informed that the Labour Commission has framed the draft rules for the codes and after wetting by various other departments, the government hopes to pre-publish the four codes at the earliest to be pursued and examined by stakeholders. This was followed by voting on demands for grants. Cut motions were tabled on grant number 21 to discuss style and functioning of the education department and on grant number 26 to discuss style and functioning of the health and family welfare department. After demands for grants were passed, the House considered and passed the Meghalaya Compulsory Registration of Marriage Amendment Bill 2022, the Meghalaya Settlement of Areas under the State Taxation Amendment Bill 2022, the Registration Meghalaya Amendment Bill 2022, the Meghalaya Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Amendment Bill 2022, the Contingency Fund of Meghalaya Amendment Bill 2022 and the Meghalaya State Agricultural Produce and Livestock Marketing Promotion and Facilitation Amendment Bill 2022. Chief Minister in Charge Finance presented the Finance Accounts Volume 1 and 2 of 2020-21 the appropriation accounts 2020-21 and laid the statement showing quarterly trends and review of receipts, expenditure of the state in accordance with Section 9, Subsection 1 of the Meghalaya Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act 2006. Minister in Charge, Community and Rural Development Hamlet Sindaling laid the annual report of the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act for the year 2020-21. Committee on Estimates member Marcos Marak laid the fourth report of the Committee on Estimates for the year 2018 to 2022 with regards to Health and Family Welfare Department, Food and Civil Supplies Department, Meghalaya Basin Development Authority, and Labor Department. 
Following this, Assembly Speaker Medba Lingdo announced the appointment of Maupalang MLA Eugene Sen Lingdo as a member of the Committee on Estimates. After the election to the Committee on Estimates, the Budget Session 2022 of the 10th House of the Meghalaya Assembly was adjourned. Snippets of the business of the day can be found on our YouTube playlist titled Budget Session 2022.